Today we're going to go over the five fragrances, five of the many fragrances that I recently hauled, but in these particular five, I've been particularly obsessed with them, and almost half of them, if not more than half of them, are not summer appropriate, right? However, we're all adults, well, majority of us anyway, are adults, and we have common sense and use our discretion on how much to spray and when to spray, right? So if something is a little bit heavier, you spray less, right? So instead of spraying a, your normal five sprays, just do two or three sprays and chances are I'm going to be in AC just to kind of set the parameters here of why I still enjoy wearing these fragrances. So we're just, we're just going to get into it. Hi Habibi, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to be here, clicking on this video, spending some time with me, a um, few of you that do. Um, it's I've been kind of MIA, I've been here and there um, so I just appreciate the patience. So we're just gonna get to want to show you some very exciting things. I think some of you guys are gonna enjoy it. So the first one that I've been super obsessed with is called Sun of a Rose by TFK. And I think TFK stands for the Fragrance Kitchen. And I believe this is a Dubai based brand. There's gonna be another one as well here. Love this. And just as it says, it is a rose fragrance. Oh my God. Woo, okay, all right, all right, all right. Center myself here. Now this one, this is gonna be, in my opinion, summer appropriate, spring, summer, fall. Um, I don't know if it will shine as much in the, in the winter. This is green, fresh red rose. There's pepper in it. I'm, I'm scared to spray myself because of all the mosquitoes and stuff because I'm outside. But hey, whoa, oh my God. Let me tell you something. This is one son of a unique fragrance. Let me tell you something. There's black pepper in here. It is a fresh green rose. Um, it feels like I'm familiar with it because I've wore it several times already. There's this powdery-ishness to it, but not like typical, just like regular like iris powder. It feels a little bit almost textured, like a cream powder. I don't wear makeup, but I, I do know there's like something called a cream powder blush kind of thing. Am I, am I making that up? So it's like you take that cream powder blush. It technically is a powder, but it's also a cream texture. That's what I feel here. And I think there is some kind of smooth, oh my God. Oh my God. I, I think the green, I think there's some kind of green note in here. This is 100% unisex. You have, it's a very unique rose. I haven't smelled anything like it. Obviously, I haven't smelled every bloody perfume in the world, but I think I've smelled many, many green uh, rose fragrances, and this stands out all on its own. Obviously, this was a blind buy for me, but this I, I, I cannot stop wearing this. And I know it's only been like less than a month, but for me, I think it might go for a top favorite of all time. So if you check out the notes online, it's powdery, it's green, it's rosy. There's some kind of like cashmere and like smooth note, not suede, but like a smooth cashmere note to it. Oh man, this, and it, it somehow it's dark. And at the same time, there's also this, the greenness and the slight aromaticness. I think there's geranium in here. I think this is giving that greenness and that there has to be some kind of spice note, but like a cool spice, not a hot spice. You know what I mean? Not like cumin. Um, I think there there's black pepper in here black pepper just cleans out the notes and fragrance and this is smooth it's rosy it's fresh but there's also this darkness about it it's like a dark light fragrance I love it I'm obsessed with it Sun Rose TFK uh, and the next one up I um, had not heard of until Joel had talked about it and as soon as I tested it immediate buy there was no question about whether or not I like this fragrance this is a love this is Oh, I don't know if you can see because it's it's really humid out here. One second. Can you see? No, no. It's reflecting the trees. This is Elysir by Elysir. I'll put the name down below. I'll pin the name down below. I, I think the brand name is called Elysir, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here. So right there. Desired. Okay. So the brand name is called Elysir. Elysir and it's called Desire. Now this one, oh my god. First of all, let's let's just use a common sense here again. I'm gonna put a copy out for this one. It is a bloody strong fragrance. Use caution when wearing this. For this in the summer, wear it in the evening time, like towards the 
at like the evening, the nighttime, and one, one or two sprays. This thing is bloody strong, okay? And then in the winter, have fun with it. Now this one, forget about all of that, the notes here. Holy crap, okay, so this is vanillic. There's a oud in here, but it's a smooth smelling oud, unless I'm wrong. Um, from what I can recall from spraying it on my skin, I think there's some kind of like smooth oud there. I think it's cashmere in here as well. There is like woods in here. I'm scared to spray myself because this one's strong. Oh my God. And I think there's amber in here as well. There is something amazingly intoxicating about Elisir Desired. There's something special about this one and I, I don't remember what it is. I think there is, this one is unique because I don't like cumin in my fragrances, but there was a cumin note. So when I read that, it kind of freaked out, but when I smelled it, forget about it, forget about it. It was an immediate purchase. Yeah, there's, there's a cumin note in here. So if you're like me and you're freaked out from cumin notes, um, don't be. Even if it's there, it's like all the way in the background. This is creamy, it's vanillic. If you love vanilla woody scents, um, there's cashmere in here, but the wood's not too woody. And there's some sweetness there as well. And there has to be some kind of like vanilla benzoin. Very well composed. In my experience from wearing it, it is a strong, it, it'll, it'll stick to your skin. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like eight to 10 hours. That's how bloody strong it is. So if you wear this in the summer, please use your common sense. If you go to somewhere with AC, wear it there. Like if you're in a, like in a beach, don't wear this at the bloody beach. Come on now. I mean, I feel like that's just common sense. So if you're in AC, um, at like maybe a big event in a hall, you know there's going to be space, it's AC, and you go in with a few, okay? So Elastir Desired is another one that I've been obsessed with. So the first one was Son of a Rose by TFK. I've been wearing the living daylights out of this. This one I've been wearing sparingly, um, but the obsession is there nevertheless. It's Elastir Desired. Now the next one. Another little special edition. I believe the cap is going to fall off so I just want to say a little disclaimer with this this is not the fault of the manufacturer I'm I'm a klutz and I dropped it on the floor and I jacked it all up I don't know what I did to it um, now this is called from a brand I had not heard of previously it's called um, Al Jazeera or is it hot perfumery let me show you the bottle first hold on first of all can we just oh, oh, mosquitoes can we just give a big up for this bottle and the and the magnetic cap that somehow I managed to jack up. But look at that. 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 You done looking at it? Okay. Now, uh, yeah, this is Al Jazeera. Okay, so I, I don't really like long names. So this is Al Jazeera Shams Art Collection Eau de Parfum Hot Perfumery. Unique as hell. When I looked up the notes on um, Lime, I could only find the notes. Only a couple of people voted for it, and I couldn't find any reviews on this perfume. But I guess it makes sense because it's a Dubai-based fragrance, and from my knowledge, they don't sell it in America. Oh, man. Oh, man. Another cashmere fragrance. I think you're going to start seeing a trend here. Vanillic cashmere. Of course, I'm not giving you all the notes. I'm just telling you based off my nose what I'm smelling um, from memory and also from my experience of wearing the fragrance whoa this this is something special this there's something ever so i don't i'm not a fan of electronic fragrances if you've not watched any of my videos kind of perfume scream on my skin so milk notes smell sweet on my skin right or heavy tuberose it smells sweet it smells good problem is it's too much for me I, i'm personally also not a fan of milk per se so but there's something slightly electronic about this not too much for it's too much. It's just, I don't know where it's coming from. It, but there is resins in here. There's cashmere in. I think there's some kind of woody notes in here. And I think there may be some kind of spice. I'm so scared to spray because of all the bloody mosquitoes. And I'm pretty sure I got bit. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is definitely sweeter. But it 100% is unisex. First of all, of these are unisex. Actually, technically, one of them is a man's per perfume. But I don't care. Um, this little hidden gem. I had never heard of this brand. Um, and I'm so glad that now I have this in my collection. They have a whole line. But this one particularly stood out to me because of the name Champs. 
Um, I've been leaning a lot to perfumes that have like very inspirational names like Champs, um, Trying for Bacchus by Argos. The only reason why I had bought it um, was literally, I know it's stupid, but I bought it purely based off the name and thank God it smelled good. So this is one of those instances, Champs, you know, I just needed to feel a little champy. Um, so vanillic, slight smooth woody, there's some kind of floral notes, but I think it's like white floral. There is something slightly powdery in it as well. There has to be some kind of iris and some kind of maybe yellow floral. Um, slightly lactonic, lactonic in the sense of creaminess. If you like not overly bearingly creamy fragrances, like cashmere kind of creamy, you know what I mean? Uh, but there's what's balancing out. It leans female, whatever, I don't give a crap. Like, men, if you want to wear this, trust me, it's going to smell a lot differently on you. You know what I mean? Because your chemistry, it's not, you don't have, I mean, you have estrogen, but not as much as, you know, someone who's born female does. But anyway, another one that I've been obsessed with um, spraying, and it is pretty strong. Um, I haven't worn this for a full day. This is more like spot uh, testing, but this is an obsession because I cannot stop spot testing it you know what I mean you know when we go and we, we test it on our skin and we, we open the cap and we sniff 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 you know what I mean so um, this is more out of the bottle um, testing on like a spot test kind of obsession so again I'll put the names down in the in the comment below so this is Al Jazeera Camps art collection Il de Parfum and we just give it up for those art horses come on one of my favorite animals are horses by the way you know beauty beauty all right moving on quickly because it's getting really hot on here okay and this linen dress is only taking me so far okay next one up i know some of you're gonna roll your eyes like seriously in the summer listen listen use your common sense i'm gonna keep saying that addendum here this is atelier cologne um rose anonyme extract so it's not only like the edt is the extract but let me tell you something let me tell you something Oh man, oh my god, I don't know what it is about this bloody perfume. Son of a Ganymede. Oh my god, there's something about this. Um, it was a little bit hard to find the notes online. I could only see what I saw on Joma Shop. But I'm just going to tell you what I smell out of the cap. Obviously, it's a strong rose, but it's equally rose, but equally green and aromatic. And there are woods in there. And there is a leather in there, but it's such a beautiful leather that it almost comes off suede. And of course, this is not going to be for everybody. You have to like these kind of um, aromatic leaning fragrances. It is very feminine and very masculine, like literally straight down your neck. But, but I say this, you have to like leather in your fragrance, you know? Um, man, this is, this, is, this is a power beast, a powerhouse beast, whatever. Um, holy crap. And when I've been spraying this in the summer, of course, I've been making sure I've been in AC places only. But literally, like literally on my wrist, on my neck, and that's it. And if I'm going out in the evening, I won't top up only. I will put it behind my knees on my jeans. Just like an easy piece. Like, I mean, when I mean I barely press it, I barely press it. And you will be smelled. Green, aromatic, fresh rose and that leather takes it somewhere and I think there's some it's got to be some kind of like spice or some kind of weird herbal note in there so it's not only just green but there's like some kind of herbal note that kind of just makes it really unique again it's kind of they're nothing alike but it's kind of in the same like this is definitely summer safe and this is not but I'm still gonna wear it but it's like they're of the same green aromatic rosy unique kind of family you see where I'm going with this um so if you think you've kind of like got burnt out with rose scents, I think you should really highly check this out. This is just my opinion. And I don't understand like this whole concept of people calling rose like grandma roses. And I was really thinking about it because to say modern rose is almost redundant. Like what other rose would there be other than modern? And I think one of you guys had commented um, on one of my older videos. Um, when I had said this comment, like, I don't understand this concept of, like, a grandma smelling a rose. And she said, well, because the rose perfumes that she had grown up with smelled, I guess, you know, different, right? Waxy almost. Um, 
just different. And then I thought culturally is the reason why I think I've had a good experience ever since high school, probably even before. I've always loved rose. Um, rose perfumes, rose oil, rose water, anything, anything with rose. And then I realized it's a cultural thing. I grew up with the smell of realistic smelling roses. For like Middle Eastern perfumes, I didn't just get onto these brands on a little side note when I got onto YouTube. No, like I've known about Middle Eastern perfumes, obviously before YouTube, you know, Swiss Arabians, Chalka Olive, everybody on Friday smelled like that. My crazy friend who drives nuts, his um, signature scent is Chalka Oud Sweat. You know what I mean? But has it the world like completely boomed in terms of Middle Eastern perfumes and they've come out dupes? Absolutely. But what I'm trying to say is I guess the reason why I never saw it as a grandma kind of thing or like, first of all, I hate that word, by the way. I dislike that word because I would never want anybody saying that to my grandmother. Um, I've grown around very realistic smelling roses. I hope that makes sense. I never had a bad image to hop over. So my first impression were very good impressions. Um, but anyway, sidetrack aside, I mean, if you have a similar scent profile of mine, I highly suggest to check this out. It, it is discontinued. I mean, as with all perfumes, the world of fragrance is very fickle. It's gonna come, they're gonna go, they discontinue, they come back, they get reformulated. But if you um, can check it out on Jomo Shop, I think it was about like $80. But this is for the Baby Hawk because it is leather in there, okay? So check out the notes the best you can. I think there's vetiver in here too. So check out the notes on Jomo Shop. And the last one, um, I've had it in several stories, I'm pretty sure by now. And this is a masculine marketed fragrance, but ladies just, okay? Marketing is just that freaking marketing, okay? Oh my god. There's just, oh, let me tell you what it is if you can't see. This is Tom Ford Noir Extreme of the Parfum. There's something about this just, just quiets me down just a little bit, it excites me and calms me down all at the same time. There is a beautiful cardamom note. There's Kulfi in here, and if you're not familiar with Kulfi, um, I'm part South Asian, um, Pakistani to be specific part. Um, I'm multi-ethnic and I grew up eating kulfi. They took that essence in here and put it in there. So there's cardamom in there, there's rose, there's woods, there's vanilla. There's so many notes listed. Just to let you guys know, like, I mean, obviously I'm not a perfumer, duh. But like these are just estimations, right? You, a person could put up like 20 notes or they could put like five notes, right? It, again, it's just an estimation of the chords that they're trying to create. But just right off the bat, those are the notes that I get the most. And this is beautiful. You know, I love wearing this in the evenings and I cannot stop spraying this baby here. And don't be scared of the fact that it's a masculine marketed product. That coffee and that rose and that cardamom and the gentle woods and the vanilla, it is sweet. It's not like a Salvataro o Amo Um, where it's a little masculine for a couple of minutes in the beginning until that colonial um, accord just kind of fades away, whatever that top note is that gives it a masculine edge quickly. This doesn't have this. This is sweet right off the bat, right? This is perfectly unisex. It's a sweet fragrance. If you love sweet fragrances, you know, if you're a man, if you never tried this, you should try this. But for my females, I highly, highly suggest that you try this. And that kofi note, that cardamom, that rose, but it's not rosy. Do you know what I mean? Like you detect the sweet rose, but it's not rosy. You just detect it in there. And this wood and that vanilla just hits you right in the face and there's just sweet notes in there, you know, is what I'm, I'm perceiving in my brain. Um, and there's something smooth on, on the end that's kind of giving it a little bit of weight. And all I know is that this is absolutely intoxicating, bloody intoxicating, and I'm a little mad. That's how good it is. You know how some things are just so good, it just makes you a little bloody mad? Yeah, oh my goodness. Um, I believe I covered it. I'm going to quickly just review um, what I did. And again, I'll pin the, the comments down below with the names. This is Son of a Rose, TFK, perfect for the summer, spring, fall, um, powdery. Well, let me retract that. Rosy, aromatic, powdery, spicy fragrance. Again, all of these, in my humble opinion, my humble headless opinion, all unisex. Look at that beautiful black bottle. Gothic vibes all the way, but like on the fresher side. You know what I mean? Um, what was the next one I covered? Um, Elisir by Desired. 
this little bottle is gonna last me like forever, forever, forever. Um, I've tried the whole line. 50-50, 50-50, but this one, banger. Um, the next one I had talked about was um, Al Jazeera, Shams Art Collection Eau de Parfum, Hot Perfumery. Um, Al Jazeera with the beautiful horses on it. The next one I had talked about was Atelier Cologne Rose Anonyme Extrait. And the last one, uh, Tom Ford Noir. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you were still here at the end, I greatly appreciate you. If you have any finds that you recently hauled or recently discovered that you're so excited about, please let, do let me know. Um, if you have any questions about these particular perfumes, let me know. Um, I don't really do topless. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on my mood. So I don't go by season because half my audience is actually international. So I'll do some summer shorts, but not all of it because quite frankly, 50% of you are not even in the United States. You know what I mean? So thank you for being here, my friends. Just a gentle reminder. The sweetest fragrance we will ever wear are not these perfumes, but our behavior. And another gentle reminder, please find somebody to thank today, even if it's for something small. And more importantly, take a moment to thank God, because if you're here watching this video, that means we made it into yet another day. And even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you, my friend. Bye.